What's going on, man? Bash MP here, talking about Tokyo Ghoul episode seven. Tokyo Ghoul episode seven. Hinami's mother unfortunately dies. Um, I don't know. Now, this is a question that I have: Is that uncensored in the manga? Because if so, I want to get to that part and read it. You know what I'm saying? Because it looks like her head was like smashed, or her body was slashed completely down the middle because Kaneki covered up Hinami's eyes. So that she couldn't see, but they didn't show it in the anime. So I'm wondering, is it you know more um, uh, you know heinous and bloody in the manga aspect? So that's just my question for you guys. But uh, her mother is killed, or whatever. Another sad episode. You know, her mother was killed, and um, Mado and Amon are the ones who are well. It's, it's mostly you know. Uh, no, the Uncle Ruckus guy, but those two guys were there, and um, when Toka finds this out, she is visibly upset, and she wants to take revenge, and she wants to go after the investigators, and, um, you know, and Teku was just like, no, you know, they, they like, we're not going to do that, because if we kill them, then they're going to send even more until we're all dealt with one by one, so we're not going to act upon anything, and I get that, you know, so you get that, she's just like, yeah, you just, you know, don't just go out on your own and do this type of crazy shit, you know, but Toka does anyway. She goes and she kills one of them. She actually managed to kill one of those guys. He's a guy who had on glasses. Uh, they said his name, but I, I don't remember what it was. But she kills him and, um, yeah, she takes on, um, I'm on or Motto, one of those guys. can't remember which one. She takes on, I think Motto, and then she takes on Motto. Um, and she isn't winning, you know what I'm saying, like, this dude's badass, I don't know what type of training he got, or exactly what his power is, but he's able to even move with her speed, so that's weird, because I thought ghouls had it, it like, enhanced speed and bodies different to what humans have, so I'm wondering exactly what this guy is, because he's able to keep up with her on a speed level, and it's known that she's known for her speed, so it's kind of weird. But um, after this, though, man, uh, Hanami is thrown to a bit of a depression, which, you know, you, you excuse her for it. You, just, you, you know it's going to happen. You know, she's thrown into this depression, and Kaneki feels useless, as he does in pretty much every episode since this came on. You know, he's feeling useless about himself because he wasn't able to do anything other than cover Hanami's eyes. Um, and he goes to talk to Toka, and he's just like, listen, I don't know if I'm going to be able to kill the investigator. But I do want to help you. I do want to help. You know, he just said sitting back. I just can't. I just can't sit back and watch this shit happen anymore. I do want to help you. And um, the episode ends with Kaneki finally getting his mask, which looks gangster as fuck. And it looks like Toka is about to train him, and a bunch of shit is about to pop off with Mado and Amon because they're all training because they're all you know sort of each one is upset about the other side's death. So they all trying to, you know, uh, reason with the fact that um, this shouldn't have happened and we're going to prevent stuff like this from happening again. So each side is taking up arms, so to speak, um, to make sure that deaths don't occur on this side again. And that's how the episode ends, man. This episode was cool as shit, though, man. It was sad, you know, seeing Hinami's mother die like that. And she realized that the husband was dead because the Kagane that the dude pulled out, I'm assuming it was her husband's. You know, um, so yeah, man, it's just sad, especially because it just seems like these doves, these investigators are just killing ghouls for no particular reason. You know what I'm saying? Like, those two ghouls didn't do shit to anybody. You know what I'm saying? They were just walking, you know, and they didn't do shit to anybody. Even when approached by you guys, initially, they didn't even attack. So, they're just being, you know, killed for no reason. And it's kind of sad, man. It's just showing the, the, the racial aspect of this uh, series, man, that, you know, they just prejudice against these characters for no particular reason no, other than the fact that they have to feed on human beings to survive, and it's like, dude, if that's wrong, then why were they created in the first place, you know, but uh, let me know what you guys thought about this, man, it came out a while ago, it came out like four days ago, I'm just now reviewing it because I just now watched it, so uh, I haven't been feeling so well either, though, man, I had like a massive, massive, massive stomach virus, I haven't been feeling so well. But um, let me know what you guys thought about this episode, though, man. Let me know what you think about the series as a whole. 
Um, I think it's only like 13 episodes, so it's coming to an end. But let me know, man. Bash Stampede, gone.